Now I want you to really think about this. There's a really good reason why females aren't chasing men around the same way that men are chasing females around. There's a reason why females are not considered dogs the same way that men are. Now for the most part, any woman can make any man climax, but not any man can make any woman climax. So fellas, why should a woman sleep with you? What's the incentive? In other words, what is there to gain? Every time a woman sleeps with somebody new, she's basically taking a risk. I'll explain. Now men are sexually attracted to different parts of a woman. For the most part, they're sexually attracted to either her breast or her butt. And 9 out of 10 women have both. Some don't. Let's call these her assets. Now today's female wardrobe is designed to elevate and put emphasis on these two assets with either something tight or something revealing. So for most of the time, two of these assets are seen almost all of the time. The clothing is almost like a tease to men saying, I know what you guys like and I'm going to show it off. Now a man on the other hand, he has a few physical assets that a female might be attracted to. Some women are sexually attracted to a man with nice arms, maybe a nice chest, maybe nice abs or maybe broad shoulders. But how many guys actually have these things? If a woman is turned on by a guy with maybe broad shoulders, one out of ten guys that she meet might have them. Or if a woman is turned on by a guy with nice arms or nice abs, she might bump into three guys that have them, but they'll never be seen because they're covered by a shirt most of the time. So men don't have much to show off physically to what a female might be sexually attracted to. So fellas, why should a woman sleep with you? Is it because of what you can do in the bedroom? But how does she know that? she would basically have to take a risk to find out. She might like big, you might be small. She might like thick, you might be thin. She might like curvy, you might be straight. She might need an hour, you might be a minute. So what's the incentive of a woman giving it up? What does she have to gain? Every time a woman lays with somebody new, she's taking a chance, a chance of not even being satisfied and a chance of getting her emotions all screwed up. So maybe it's better that females are not like men Maybe it's better that females are selective the way that they are. Now females, I want you to remember this. When a man looks at you, he sees one of two things. A or B. B is easy to get. It tastes good, but it's not good for you. It sells for cheap and it's not healthy. It's a quick fix when you don't feel like cooking. It doesn't satisfy and when you're done with it, it leaves you wanting something else. Now A, A is hard to find, hard to get. It's expensive, it's rare, it's not cheap. You know it's value when you see one. And when someone has it, they won't give it up so easy. I believe every woman should be a diamond. I believe every woman is a diamond. Regardless of your past, you can still shine. Fathers, teach your daughters to be diamonds. Females, keep your standards. Be rare. Be unique. Be a diamond. You are a diamond. And I want you to know that. This video is over. But for the next 10 seconds, I want you to look at this. This is what I want you to see every time you look into a mirror. Look at the sparkle, look at the cuts, see the lights, you see the value, this is you. It doesn't matter what happened last year, it doesn't matter what happened yesterday, this is you now. You are a special person and don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Somebody needs to hear this message today, so I want you to share this message with all of your diamond friends. Peace.